Today, we're making unleavened bread. You eat unleavened bread when, you, um, when you're breaking bread. And also, you eat it during Passover. Start it. So you add your two cups of flour. Make sure it's unleveled. You don't have to um, sift it or anything. Your teaspoon of salt. And also get unbleached flour. I'll explain why in a minute. Because regular flour can um, leaven. You need four cup, four, um, I'm sorry, two sticks of butter, two cups of sugar. Just blend that together. Make sure your butter is room temperature because my butter was not room temperature. <laughs> Look how hard that was. But I'm sorry, I was pressed for time at that point, so I had to go ahead and, and make it. Add your four eggs. That made it a little bit easier to mix. Make sure your eggs are also room temperature. All right, when you're done with that, you add a teaspoon of vanilla. Then you can get your um, three-fourth cup of heavy whipping cream, of heavy cream. That could be room temperature also. Just mix all that in together. This is gonna be a butterscotch, um, lemon butterscotch, unleavened bread. So then you just um, slowly add in your um, salt and the, um, and the flour mixture, little by little. Until all the flour is added. Because if you put all that flour in at one time, it might just be a big old puff of smoke. So just do it little by little. One of them... It's gonna be a regular bread, and the other one's gonna be um, lemon. Have a lemon glaze with um, butterscotch. Now we're making the icing. All you really needed for the icing is um, two cups of powdered sugar, one third, one. I'm sorry, three and a half tablespoons of regular milk or whatever milk you drink and a half a teaspoon of vanilla and mix it all together and you need one whole lemon on this one I didn't put any lemon in the um in the icing it's just the regular the bread without the um butterscotch and it doesn't have any lemon Excuse the camera, you guys. <laughs> I was using one hand. I made this whole thing with one hand. So. And the second one, I did add butterscotch to it. After I poured the batter in the pan, I just sprinkled some... Um, some butterscotch chips on top and they sunk down in the bottom that's why you can't see them so now I'm adding my lemon don't get the seeds in there like I did I did pick them out it would make the um, glaze a little bit thinner but um, yeah it's really good so if you like me after you glaze it, 
I go on ahead and get a piece because it tastes so good warm. Yeah, so I also poke some holes into the um into the bread so that way that the, the glaze can get down in there. So look, the kids already took some before I could even get it on camera. But yeah, it's nice and look, look at that. It's good. You should really try it. It's good.